Welcome to Twinner Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to publish your app on Android Play Store. So once you have created your app on Twinner and you have tested it in Twinner Preview app, next step is to publish on Play Store. So click on your app and once again check everything is good. Check the branding information is there properly. Then check the application theme, everything is good. Then check if you have all the screens added here, which is important for you and everything else which is needed as a customization in your app. And check the add-ons which is useful for you that you have added. Then go to app build. So these are the steps. It starts from here. So in for Android, first step is to give the Android package name. So this is a unique name for your application that will appear on Play Store URL. It will appear in here. Okay, next step is to click on publish to production. What this means? This means that we are preparing a bundle which we will send to Play Store. Okay, so go to screens and then click on publish to production. Add. Then come back here again. And then next step is to build a signing information. So you just have to auto generate a signing information if you are publishing it for the first time. And let's say if you have the application live already and you want to replace the live application with Twinner's application, just contact us and we will help you to reset your signing information. It's uh, just uh, five minutes of work. So please contact on our email or on crash chat and we will help you out. So in this case, uh, I am publishing app for the first time. So I am just auto generating a signing information. Once the signing information is generated, uh, go to build, build history and then request a new build and click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, you will see that the build is running and it will run about uh, five minutes so meanwhile go to play console which is google play console for play store so here uh, if you don't have any account then you have to create a developer account so you will be able to publish your app if you want a personal account click on here get started or if you want an organizational account then click on here okay i already have an account so I will go back and I will click on the account which I need. So once you will have the account activated, you will see something like this. The first ever step to do is to verify your identity. Make sure you have verified your identity on Play Store because they will take two days to verify it. Okay. So now uh, first step is to create app. Give the app name. So for me. It's this one, Linchpin, and the default language for my application is English. So I'm keeping I'm keeping it English US, and then select it's an app, and then select if it's free or paid. So for me, it's my app is free, and then make sure you have marked these three, and then click on Create App. So once the application is created, you will be redirected to the dash dashboard where uh, you will have to fill up all the information that is needed to publish your app. So scroll down. These are the testing information that you do not need for now to publish the app. Go here, set up your app and then click on view task. We have to finish all these tasks so we can publish our app. So let's do one by one. Set privacy policy. Here, give the privacy policy URL. In my case, it's this one. This is must, otherwise uh, Google Play Store will deactivate your app. Okay, go back to dashboard. Let's see what's the next. It's app access. Okay, so for me, uh, my application needs uh, login information to enter in the app. So. I will click all or some of my functionality is restricted and then I will add instruction here for how to log in. 
so mine is a login information and I will give username and password okay and then I will scroll down and no other information is needed I will check box that and add okay and save okay go to dashboard again scroll down and go to next ads so my app does not contain ads so I will click no go back content rating then click on start questionnaire so email address you have to give your uh, yours or your company's email address which will be visible on play store okay and the category is not game not social so it's all other types click on next so all this will be no in my case but please do read all this question and answer it properly click on next and save go back to dashboard and then select target audience so for me it's 18 and over and so no and save then next one is is your app news app mine is no it's not a news app so I will say no then COVID-19 my app is not publicly available COVID-19 tracing or status app so I will click on that go back to dashboard and click on data safety click on next 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 and start and then click on next from below and then my app is not collecting any data so I will say no and I will save it go back to dashboard government apps no mine is not government app so I will save and go back and then financial features so my app is not a, a financial app so I will say I don't have any features like that and save it then go back to app content and you will see select an app category and provide contact details click on that click on edit here and then select a category which is let's see here what do we have it's business yes save so category is business and then for the tags you can give the tag that is relevant to your application so business yes let me see something like task is there no then maybe forum no a productivity yes we can try that productivity yes we have it so apply whatever is relevant to your application this will be very useful uh, for the visibility of your app on play store okay next thing is uh, store li listing contact details so edit it and then give the email and phone number and website which is not compulsory but it's good if you want to give it okay save it close and then this is done then go back to dashboard again and let's see what's the next all this is done and next is set up your store listing so let's scroll down and finish this short description so it is a short description of your application okay so let's copy this let's see if it's 80 characters if it's not then I have to change it yeah we are good and full description it's here so I have already prepared this okay so paste it here now scroll down application icon okay so I already have my application icon which is here I will drag it here it's uploaded and feature graphics which is like a, a cover page on your Play Store listing okay. so I already have it I have prepared it Okay, paste it here yes and then you can give a video as well uh, it, 
it might be a YouTube video that is a informational video of your application. I'm skipping that for now because I don't have it. Now here is the screenshot of your application. So I have prepared few. So let me upload it. Okay, and I will drag it here. So these are the phone videos and below if you see we have tablet which is 10 inch tablet and 10, uh, 7 inch tablet. So if we, you have the screenshot for uh, tablet and phone both then you can upload it or you can skip it as well. We, they have for Chromebook as well which is not needed. And if you need help in screenshots we already have the on demand service. If you go here on on demand section and go to app screenshots, it's a $29 one time and you can request us to give you the screenshots for tablet, uh, iPhone, iPad and Android phone. So basically everything. Okay. So let's go back. With, this is uploaded and I will click save. This is done. Go back to dashboard and go down. So this is done, so go down to create and publish a release, okay, here and click on view task, which has only few tasks, select countries and region, add countries, so it's up to you that how many countries you want to add, sometimes uh, the application is only needed in the US, so uh, the owner will select only US, but for me, it's all, so I will see. I will uh, select all and add okay and then click on create a new release here on the top right corner okay yeah here so here it will it will ask you uh, to choose the signing key right so click on it this will be only that if you are doing it for the first time okay so for the Google use Google generated key click on that so it's generating, it's loading here. Okay. And here we have to upload app bundle, which we have created on Twinner. So go back to Twinner and go back to app build and Android. So if you remember, we requested a build and it was about to be completed in five minutes. So five minutes is already done. So it must be ready. Oh, here it's asking for the feedback. We would really appreciate your feedback this will not take more than two minutes so please help us improve ourselves and for now let me skip it and then i will download this aab file so let me download it it's downloading so for your information this apk file is to install in your android phone and then test it if you want it but this aab file is to upload it on the play uh, on the play store okay APK file is not to upload on Play Store. It's only AAB file. So go back to Play Store and then upload this thing here. It's uploading. It will take some time because it's uh, around 30, 40 MB. Okay. So here, meanwhile, uh, here, meanwhile, we will give release details. So release name is like a version name. Okay. So for me, it's 1.0.0 because it's the initial release. And here I will say initial uh, release. I will wait for this to finish. And all this thing will take about 15 minutes. If you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. We have a fresh chat, live chat. Uh, then we have email. Then we have call, we have meetings available. If you want to email us, it's hello at twinner.dev. If you want to talk to us, you can book a meeting. You can just click on this uh, calendar icon and you can book a meeting any available time that you want. And then if you want a live chat, just click on this uh, fresh chat and then click on contact support and ask, hey, I need, I need your help. Okay. So we work uh, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. in Eastern time zone. Okay, so if we are not around, we will contact you back as soon as possible. 
So here it's uh, uploaded successfully and click on next and let's see it's loading. Okay, I see one error. Let's see your app target Android 13 or above. You must declare advertisement ID. Okay, so let's complete this declaration. Okay, and then save it. Go back to dashboard and then preview and confirm the release. Uh, click on edit the release so it will start where we stopped and click on next so the error is gone now and click on save okay now you see it's ready to send for review so click on go to publishing overview and click on next next and go to publishing overview scroll down and just click on send the changes for review and send for review okay so now you can see that it is already sent for review let's check on dashboard okay so the status is in review so perfect we have done it in about 15 minutes so we are good to go and then uh, Android Play Store will take around two to three days to approve your app if they have any questions they will get back to you on your email and if it's approved then you just need to refresh the uh, dashboard and keep checking that it's approved or not okay once it's approved you will see uh, the update status is production okay so once it's approved you you can just search it on play store with your app name and you can install and you can start using your app okay so that's it for this video i hope it's useful for you and please tell me in comments if any any more videos or any more tutorials you want okay thanks for watching see you in the next video